Welcome CAM 245 to experiment number 9 entitled Synthesis of Acetyl Salicylic Acid or Aspirin. To do this synthesis, we need 5 grams of salicylic acid, 9 milliliters of acetyl chloride, and few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid. Now, I will introduce an order and those three uh, reactants, and I am surely working under the hood because the acetyl chloride and the sulfuric acid are very dangerous to use them outside the hood. I will introduce now in order the salicylic acid, 5 grams into the beaker. I weighed them before that I started. grams of salicylic acid I will introduce the 9 milliliter of acetyl chloride I cover them because in order not to lose any amount by vapors I have to stir them now with a glass rod drops of H2SO4 concentrated acid. Do you see the fumes? Do you see this reaction? That's why I have certainly to work under the hood. The reaction is very vigorous. I have to keep to keep stirring. Until I am sure that I have the white crystals of acetyl salicylic acid. always cover the bottle of chemicals I am using. I have to keep stirring until I see, for a few minutes, until I see the formation of the white solid which is the acetyl salicylic acid or aspirin. Are you seeing the formation of those crystals? I am not allowed to remove the beaker from under the hood until this, those fumes stop to be evacuated from the beaker. solution is a little bit hot. I have to keep stirring. 
with the glass rod, I'm holding the beaker with my left hand. Do you see this paste inside? Paste-like product. by adding 50 milliliters of cold water and to have the aspirin granules into suspension ready for Bachner filtration. So now I'm adding 50 milliliter of cold water to put the crystals in suspension to filter them with using the Bachner filter on the bench not certainly under the hood. Okay, now I have the aspirin granules in suspension in cold water. I will go to the bench to do the Bachner filtration. The solution is still hot. I have to cool it a little bit inside ice bath. Now my solution is cold enough. I will filter it using the Bachner filter, but I will prepare it and let you remember how to prepare the Bachner filter. First, I have to fix the Erlenmeyer flask on the support and the order I taught you before, one. Two and three. Then I put the funnel of the Bachner filter. Okay. I have to connect the vacuum hose. Okay. So I'm connecting the vacuum hose. Then I have to put a filter paper that I have weighed before and having the weight of 0 0.538 grams. I have to let it stick with little little bit of my solvent which is cold water but first I have to turn the water on to have the vacuum inside with little bit of cold water I will let this filter paper stick inside my funnel okay now my Bachner filter is ready for filtration. Okay, I have to get all the amount of crystals. To get the remaining amount of crystals, I add cold water. And I have to wait for my crystals to dry. Okay. 
very nice shape of crystals are you able to see this nice shape of crystals inside the funnel of the buffner I think my filtration now is done because the crystals are almost dry. To stop the filtration, I have to break the vacuum first and then turn the water off. And now I have to put my crystals, I have to remove them with a spatula to put them inside the oven. Now with a spatula, I try to get the filter paper with the crystals on it. Okay. I can put it on a watch glass, on an A4 sheet inside the oven and let it dry okay now I got all the crystals I have to let my filter paper dry inside the oven for some time so I have to let it dry inside the oven for like two hours at 60 degrees and then I have to weigh it again to get the weight of the crystals.